welcome so in this video what we are going to see is uh, i i'm going to show you how i built my uh, homemade server labs uh, because you know i'm just into this ai field like building lot of software related to ai i need to test it before that you know i need to test it because i'm not having gpu kind of uh, servers i'm just having only cpu kind of server which is like you know mainly focused on ram okay so that's why you know i'm just build a homemade server i'm going to show you that and after that i'm just going to show you what all upgrade i have done on our uh, telo bot this is now telo bot version 3 which is like we have just added uh, candlestick pattern and we have just added a uh, uh, you know the support resistance breakout right so i just added this both so with this both it will have extra confirmation it won't take many entries it will take entry only if the confirmation happens so the accuracy will be more than the before version of what we made okay so let's begin uh, if you see uh, let me show you so i think this video i just posted on youtube like uh, i think a few months back i don't i didn't remember when i posted this is like i have posted on youtube like um, sh uh, showing my homemade server i think it would be like around 3 months or 4 months back on that time i think i just built it this on uh, uh, last year july july end uh, like uh, mid of july i just built on that time so nearly you know i'm just having a Hello, time, Michael, which is like, uh, you know covering uh, uh, like uh, uh, like uh, around 25 CPUs which is like you know only focused on uh, my usage like what all I can run from each server like I just connected everything to one CPU where I will be managing these servers from one side but uh, this is my server lab I just built it for only for testing the AI bots because each one need each capacity each one have each kind of thing so i uh, this is not based on gpu again i'm saying this is not based on gpu this is based on you know i need lot of ram because i'm just focusing only on cpu so uh, for this i just used the i5 processor a sixth generation and some cpus would be third generations uh, mainly main focus is very simple guys uh, when you are testing the bot you need a uh, lot of ram At the same time you need lot of uh, GPU is also for if you want to make your back testing result or your uh, make you making your results very speeder you need that and uh, another focus thing is the storage because I need lot of storage for example you know if I want to share file from this server to that server if I want to share something for two to three servers I will be mainly focusing on sharing files because you know I am the files which like uh, some project will be like based on uh, machine learning for example they will be giving lot of uh, like uh, pictures. Uh, we have to recognize which picture is this, whether it's positive or negative, whether this recognize, like for example, if you're wearing a mask, I'm just saying a basic thing. Uh, when I'm uh, taking a camera, like when I'm taking a photo from uh, my phone, like uh, if I'm clicking the camera, it will be taking the picture and it will be showing he's wearing mask or not. This is a simple project, right? So same like that, there would be a lot of data for uh, feeding the bot uh, based on the project what I will get. So based on that, I need a lot of storage so that's why for like if you see the big size uh, whatever you're seeing here these servers are mainly focused for uh, storage because these are like one one servers like uh, having around a 10 TB like one is I 8 TB one is 10 TB one is 10 TB so this is what I have focused there so yeah from there I will be sharing the data from uh, all over the place for example if the clients are from uh, other countries they will be sharing their files directly to my server um, it will be very easy for them same time it will be very easy for me to store everything on one place and take out whenever I need and uh, uh, deleting from the another system what I have what I'm using so that I can store everything on one place so that's where I just built these servers and mainly focused on running a uh, like you know if I'm running auto trading or if I'm running uh, any 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 files at the background or if uh, if I want to test the websites or if I want to test the app you know uh, building a AI model is not only focused on uh, running a code it's like you know complete app building a complete software like a end product for example if i'm feeding all the data and if i'm getting a proper accuracy at last what i will do is i will create a you know uh, like a software or like a mobile app or like a desktop app like whatever they required i will make it based on that now we are just focusing on like you know i'm just i need only one thing i need to bring a solution for trading so that's what i'm just working on with uh, i don't know how much it's going to work for a long run uh, let's see guys because you know I'm just working hard um, only thing is many people are texting me uh, based on you know they are just sharing their code that's why I, last video I just uh, uh, said them clearly uh, 
uh, whenever you are coding try to put comment comments are very very important because a lot of people are not putting comment we have to read each line by line it will be like you know head breaking like uh, if they are making some error or some mistake uh, it's very difficult and one more thing uh, you know i'm not having much time to rectify all your doubts and all your errors guys because you know i'm i'm just loaded with a lot of works so what you can do is you just rectify the doubts or if you have any error use uh, you know lot of uh, things are there you can use stack overflow you can use chat gpt if you have any doubt you can use anything because in online lot of things are available okay so here many are coming and asking in telegram that give this bot to me uh, give this code to me i will give you 5000 10000 i'm just saying i'm not giving this to anyone because it's in a working process like it's not like you know completely completed it's like on the stage of uh, working like i'm just building it uh, it will take a lot of time to complete and uh, make it as a entirely uh, different product okay so that's what the thing i think i just uh, if i'm blabbering something if i'm saying something different uh, don't mind it because you know if i'm seeing the camera i'm just forgetting what i want to say so that's what the thing uh, let's begin uh, now we can run the bot and we can check it because you know the main focus is to i just added some kind of uh, instruction to our bot so let us check uh, first thing the bot will check uh, okay, okay, okay 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 let me let me stop the bot let me stop the bot hmm okay let me uh, focus on uh, i will be reduce the cooldown time period because you know let me use 1 minute or oh, we can use 30 seconds i think 1 minute is enough 1 minute or 3 minutes okay uh, we are just uh, only we are going to see the result how it's going to print because uh, if if everything met it will take entry on the exchange because i just given everything there but i'm just going to check one more time support resistance levels what time frame? okay for support resistance i just given 1 minute let me go with 3 minutes or 5 minutes i think uh, we can go with 3 minutes for candlestick pattern also let me go with the uh, time frame of 3 minutes mm, now now i will be running this bot uh what it the bot will do is first the bot will fetch the positions like uh, whether the uh, exchange like whatever exchange i'm using it's in edge mode or uh, single mode because it's very important our bot will be this bot is not for edging like taking long and short entry at the same time it's not for edging this bot is mainly focused on only one side profit booking come out of the trade okay so what it's it will be happening it it will be analyzing the market after analyzing it will be uh, taking out the volume data because volume data is very very important for us after that uh, i have two more uh, instruction it's like back end i'm not going to reveal it it's like totally uh, you know uh, filtering the uh, uh, each crypto or whatever asset i'm just going to use it can be crypto or it can be a uh, stock or anything the problem in stock is you know in crypto we can book small small profit like 0.5 0.2 but in stock market even if you book that much of profit your trading fees will be high so that's the biggest problem we have okay so next thing what is happening is i just uh, Uh, coded like uh, i need a logs for um, finding out the trend here the trend is a uh, mismatch it means that the trend is not uh, perfectly formed that's what it's saying it's not in uh, upper trend or down trend after that it's going to next crypto and it's saying buy volume is dominant which is like 51 percentage it means that more buyers are inside okay that's what it's showing and it's saying that uh, trend confirmation is both time frame it's on uptrend so in both the time frame whatever time frame i just given there like 1 minute and 3 minute for 1 minute and 3 minute it's showing that both the time frame it's showing uptrend okay it's it's sure your second second analyze it's like coming like uh, it's like totally after uptrend like two more analysis there after that it will be coming to, to show the whether it's having near to support and resistance or it's not near to support and resistance if it's near to support and resistance it will take uh, you know it will take entry otherwise it will skip the long trade okay that's what it's showing so like that it will be analyzing the bot and everything if anything if all the conditions met all whatever uh, conditions we are given everything met 
it will take entry on the exchange okay so now it's like started checking and everything and showing uh, skipping uh, there is no volume for er and usdt pair there is no trading volume for that so it's skipping and it's going to the next uh, crypto which is like etc so etc what happened is etc having uh, uh, like you know they are, they are not in futures trading so it skipped there ETH USDT pair which is like having a trading volume which is more but uh, some uh, instruction is there which is like it has been skipped because you know we need uh, volume like volume also I just given some kind of criteria so after that criteria only it will show whether it has a what kind of volume is more whether buy volume or sell volume is more even the buy and any volume is more I have a little criteria to filter the crypto so that criteria ethereum doesn't meet so it doesn't go to the next stage so it has been skipped and throw it out and it went to next crypto it has not having volume uh, error fetching order book for eth bul usdt pair so in the there is no uh, order book for fetching the i think it's like illiquidity problem so that's why like even this condition i have just given if the crypto is not having liquidity then throw it out because we need a liquidity product because if you want to sell something someone would be there to buy it if there is no bias then you would be in a big loss or your order would be on uh, you know old so that that thing i don't want to face so these things are saying so only one thing guys if the buy, if any dominance if the buy volume or sell volume any any dominance is more if it's more than 100 percentage it means that uh, for example, if uh, people are selling uh, un uh, like uh, 100 rupees of Bitcoin, more like uh, 200 people are ready to buy the Bitcoin. For uh, that, that's what the difference between buy and sell volume. The sell volume is lower than the buy volume. Uh, okay, uh, like the, like that also you can take it, or somewhere you can take like the buyers are more than the sellers. So I I don't know whether I'm confusing or not. Uh, I'm just saying like uh, for like you know a lot of people won't understand if I'm going like a technical way I'm just saying as a simple way you can keep it like that in your mind the sellers are more if the sell volume is more if the buyers are more the buyer volume is more that's the uh, difference okay because we need a volume volume is very very important if there is no volume if there is no you know more people are uh, doing buying or selling there won't be liquidity if there is no liquidity if we are going and entering into the trade it will be very very big uh, problem for us so as of now what happened is it's like taking a filtered a lot of cryptos and it's taken 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 it came down and finally it will be like you know analyzing each and every crypto if nothing matched what will happen i will show you if nothing match it's going to be end because uh, now it's on s category uh, when it's coming to the final category uh, it, it will be coming like order like uh, a b c d first is numerical value second is a b c d so these things will be there so after yes what are all cryptos are there it will be forming if there is no it will be skipping because even picking the crypto there are a lot of uh, instruction as i told you before so let's see what will happen after analyzing everything if there is no entry in uh, any crypto what will happen is it will reanalyze it will be starting reanalyze so that's where we just uh, used uh, uh, you know uh, multiple instructions for this if there is no analyze if there is no you know uh, if there is no any entries try to reanalyze if there is taken entry put that crypto on the cooldown period of two uh, two hours if you see here uh, we just made a cooldown period of two hours so we just made a cooldown period of two hours which is like uh, after analyzing and everything you're putting that crypto on the cooldown period where it will be like you know uh, for two hours if same entry comes in the crypto it won't take entry it's very very important guys because uh, skipping the you know aggressive trades and uh, skipping out uh, you know multiple entries on same crypto is very very important because sometimes it will be going up it will be taking entry it will be booking profit even though it can go up but in some point of time it will it will be coming out so on that time if i'm taking one more entry the stop loss will trigger so i don't need that kind of problem and issue happening in this place so wait 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 it has been ended here so it has been ended here and it started reanalyzing the market so as of now it has taken around if you see uh, 934 33 seconds okay it started on 28 so 28 uh, let me uh, check 28 uh, 34 which is like coming around six minutes 
which is like around 6 minutes it's coming you can keep a approx of 6 minutes just imagine it's taking 6 minutes for analyzing all the cryptos so just imagine how much data we are just fetching for a second okay that's very very important and when you're fetching if you're trading on if you're fetching lot of data datas from binance be careful guys they will restrict your uh, ip address they can ban your ip address because you know uh, they have some limitations as i told you in the previous video they have a limitation of 2000 only you can fetch 2000 datas per second so if your limitation is crossing that they will uh, block your uh, you know uh, ip id is after that uh, you can use your ip only uh, after 24 hours after that you can't uh, till that you can't fetch anything till that you can't trade anything so that's where i just used a call like time to sleep one second uh, one second delay between uh, each symbol so you can see it very clearly here for example if it's analyzing combo or if it's analyzing bitcoin it will take one second delay after analyzing everything it will take one second delay it will go to next crypto it won't uh, take multiple crypto because before the time taken to analyze everything which is like only 1 minute 1 and 1/2 minute but i got that problem uh, my ip has been restricted for 24 hours after that i just uh, changed to sleeping time period you know very simple guys if you are getting lot of data datas within uh, second means you can easily find out the trend you can take a quick entry but when you put 1 seconds delay the entries would be little bit delay the market can go 0.01 0.05 0.1 0.1 like that it can go up little bit up we can take a little bit late entry so that's the problem but it's not a not a big issue because when you come to insight we need a confirmation uh, after confirmation we need uh, these kind of uh, non restriction things so we have to focus on that so that's all guys i think this video would be more helpful for you i want to show you how you can do this and uh, i want to show you what all updates i have done i just added only two things one is support and resistance another one is candlestick pattern so with this patterns and everything it will start uh, the works and everything it will be you know it will be filter more so that the accuracy will increase more already we are just given lot of conditions even though we are in profit we are making in profit i just added few more conditions so that uh, if i'm running it for 24 bar of 7 like uh, if i'm running it for like one year of time period i should not face any problem in the code i should not face any issues that's where i'm just testing 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 even if i'm losing money i'm just testing 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 why is very simple we have to test in every situation even you know even uh, the code got corrupted or uh, some error has been happen uh, or trading issue has been happen means uh, uh, like automatically it should uh, redo the work by itself so that's where uh, we have to focus on lot of things and i just upgrading new new features and everything so let's see guys i think this video would be more helpful for you like this lot of videos are to come thank you so much bye bye